Where did I just put the rod? The, the rod? Where's the fishing rod? Hang on, where's the fishing rod? What have I just, what have I just done with the fishing rod? Panic has started to set in. I thought I put it just down here somewhere to put a hook on it. Um, I'm a bit worried about the fishing rod now. What just happened? I think I've dropped the fishing rod overboard. I cannot believe it. I absolutely cannot believe it. Well, I hope these fish last us until we get there then. Because this is all the fish we've got left. I cannot believe I've just done that. I didn't even see it go over. Where's the fishing rod? Is it down here? Did it glitch through? It's there! It's there! What's it doing there? What's it doing there? Oh my god! Oh my god! Hang on, what? Why can't, why that happens? You, uh, okay then, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> my nerves are shot now. My nerves are shot. Okay, onwards and upwards. <laughs> oh dear. How far? North, are we? Have we missed a thing? No, we just... No. So that's like 38, maybe. 37 and a half, 38, something like that. And we're going to need to... Hang on. Let me just drop this. Pick you up again. Because we are close to checking the other thing. Okay, 10 to 5 to... This is to check how far east we are. Oh, wow. We're, we're right in the middle. We are right in the middle. That, that is perfectly in the middle. Gripes. Hang on. We're right, okay, so we're right in the middle on the zero. And then we are at about 38, maybe. But it's seven and a half or 38, something like that. So looking on the map, we are about there. Where I'm going to put a circle. So yeah, I mean, we still want to go northeast, but a little bit left of northeast. Okay, okay, okay. Look out, Astrium. We're coming home. Well, not home, but to your home. We're coming to your home. All right, come on, about a bit more. A bit more, about there, yeah, about there. About there, that's fine. That, that is the perfect, what we want to be on. How's the wind looking for us with that direction? Can probably pull this in a bit now. And then once we pulled it in, we'll have to check the sound, uh, the direction again, because it can adjust our direction once we put it in. Hang on, this is like the other way, so. It's like the old, Going the wrong way here. Sal's, the sound has flipped the wrong way. That's what's happened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that. Uh, see if I can see if I can grab it and move it across. Oh, it has flipped. It did, it did flip round. Yeah. And now we can let it out uh, a bit more like this. In fact, it's probably changed our direction a lot. Hang on. Yeah, we've gone. Way too north here, because of that. 
go further east. About there. Good. Good. Pull this one in. Be kind of the same with the back one. That is, I can see that change in our direction again. A bit more to the right. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Wow, okay, so everything's everything's turned upside for again. We're doing so well, we really are making progress. We are actually using real navigational skills. And uh, yeah, the the storm thing didn't go too well before, but but that's okay. Ninety-eight, day ninety-eight. Can't see the moon anymore. But yeah, this is why we catch all these fish because if our fishing rod somehow glitches through the deck, then. Uh, and we can't get it back forever. In fact, where is it? It's over here. If we can't get it back, then uh, we need this surplus of fish. So, yeah. If anybody's saying to me, I don't know if they have yet, because I'm recording this whole thing in one go. But if anybody did say, Fuck us, you got so many fish. We don't need all those fish. I'm sure nobody said that. But if they did, this is why I have all the fish. You can't have enough fish. A lovely, keep forgetting the name, Black Bin Hunter. Oh, there we go, another hook. So far, no broken lines. Of course, we love hooks, but no broken lines. I've not been too... I've been patient with these. I have been patient. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any more Shimmer Tails because I don't think Shimmer Tails swim this far north. So instead we're getting the Blackfin Hunters and the Trouts. Might as well cook for Blackfin Hunters. I'm going to let this sell out a tad. In fact, maybe all the way. We didn't turn around. And the same here. Speedometer. For the win. Not bad speed, 8 knots, 8-9 knots, 8 knots. Not a bad. And there's the moon over there. Come on moon, you need, to, you need to be over there. Looking at the sun. I want, I want the solar eclipse. Where's my hook gone? In fact, you know what? You don't need to reel it in. Just put it down. If you've got a big enough deck. And, uh, yeah, I said deck. And uh, that's it. You, you're done. And I think you can just carry on fishing. Leave the hook in there. Let's see if we can catch one without pulling it in. Yeah, see? That's, that's, that's it. I've, I've put the hook in like magic. The magical hook. Um, Attachment teleported. Another top tip from Porthos until the dev fixes it. Oh, 
of a trail. Well, it's way too early to start looking for islands. Way too early. But it doesn't stop you. Oh. <gasps> no. Is that something on my screen? Or oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang no, no, wait. Whoa, whoa. Hang on. I was joking. Hang on. The, the sun's going down. But I'm sure I saw a blip. Come on. I'm sure I saw a blip of something. Maybe it's just at a certain angle. I'm sure I see something. I'm sure I see something just to the right, just there. What direction's that? Just there. But getting too dark now to see it. But I see something. Well, let's, let's go slightly to the right, and then straighten up again, just a little ton minor adjustment, because I think there's something out there, that now I can't see because of how dark it is. I'm sure there's something. Well, let's go to bed, um, Mariners. And maybe in the morning we might see a bump on the horizon. Who knows? Who knows? Are we hungry? Let's have one of these. And one of these. And we... Do you know what? We're probably not going to sleep for the night because... Ah, oh no, we're good. I don't know, I was thinking we could have one of the... I don't have a cup. Do I have a cup? Do you have any cups around? I think I threw the cup overboard. I've got rum, but no cup to drink it. Oh, uh, unless I... Unless you can fill these up with, uh... Can you fill these up with rum? Oh, you can. We could have a bit of rum for before bed, you know. Celebration of seeing a bump. I don't know if we have seen one bump, but it helped help us sleep for the night, so. Oh, we, is it getting darker because we're drinking? Are we actually getting drunk? Well, that's a new one. That's a new one. Okay, let's uh, let's go to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Good night, everybody. Well, actually, we nearly stuck the whole way through. Sun's come up soon. Oh no! Whoa! Hang on! Hang on a sweet second! What the... Jiminy Cricket is that? What the Jiminy Cricket... ...is that? You know what that is? Land the hole! Yes, I feel, I feel happy that we had some rum to celebrate there. In fact, you know what? A bit more rum. There we go. Because that was glorious. To celebrate. Beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. I don't know which island that is, but it's an island. And now, we don't really need to navigate with the map because we found something. Visually. Right. What could it be? I guess it's the one that's the Mount. I guess it's Mount Malefic. 
So we probably want to head to the west of that. It looks like a mountain. And that's a malefic on there, meaning uh, suggesting that that's a mountain. So I thought Astrum looks like it's the island to far left. So the third island from the left of the mountain. Are there more that we can see? Hang on. Oh yes, the ma the mountain. One, two. We want to go there. The third one, I believe. That one there. One, two, three. Is that right? Okay, yeah. So I think we're heading in the kind of the right direction. Actually, we want to go to the left a bit. So that direction. Let's go left a little bit. Like there. And the sounds I can hear are lopping. So let's pull this in. The max, well, halfway for the forty five degree angle. There we go. And how about you, my friend? Main cell. Put in her in. That'll do, that'll do. How magnificent. We are, oh, yes. Yes. So we're coming up Sandra again. One, two, three. Yeah, we want to go that way. According to them, what I think is on the map. It's too early for this, but uh, it's kind of academic now. But we'll look later in a bit. Had a lot of salmon to fill us up because why not? You know? Why not? Uh, it's probably more than one day to those islands, but what if we can mix the rum and the water to make grog? Let's have some more rum to celebrate. I think everything's a little bit, um, I think the world looks a little bit different when you've been drinking. Kind of like glowy. Alright, let's try and catch a, uh, well, if we, if we can get a hook on there. Let's try and catch a fish. Another fish. The first fish caught in sight of land. What type of fish is this? Is it a black fin fish? No, it's a tr oh. oh, what's happened to it? Did this <laughs> did they try and escape? Right. It's a trout. Let's let's cook a load of trout. Or at least put them on the stove. Uh, wood? Yeah, let's just cook them. And, um... I don't know if we need to cook, catch any more fish. Yeah, that's a mountain, alright. I don't know if that is the if that counts as um, the third one because I'm not sure that's two or not. That could be that's the third one there. 
that's one island. So that's, that's one, two, three. That's the one we need to go to. What direction is that? We need to go pretty much almost north. Come on, we're going pretty much almost north then. Pretty much to there. Bit to the right, we went a bit too far. Let's just double check. All right, let's go back up the front and look at our telescope. Yeah, there's something, uh, that's, that's where we need to be. Actually, it's kind of like beam reach, isn't it? So, these should be... They should be, yeah, 45 degrees out. Uh, my fingers are the right buttons. Like that. It's almost beam reach. Yeah. Shall we still go in roughly the right direction? One, two, three. Hang on, you start two together and then... Yeah, two together and then the third one, two. One, two, three, but the two and... But one and two are right next to each other. Yeah, one and two are next to each other. No, yeah, one and two are next to each other, yeah, and that's... Hang on. One, no, that's just one, but that's quite next to that, yeah, so that's two, three, but then what's that? <laughs> what's that one? Why is it four? I guess the map's not uh, detailed enough. But probably don't need to go to that one or that one, so it's probably that one or that one. That's probably just a rock. We probably do need to go to that one. Well... We'll see what's got, um, we'll see when we get closer, I guess. One of those could be, I suppose, the one behind it, but it depends on how big it is. It looks quite big, actually. So the, we're going to go to the nearest one on the left. The furthest one on the left and the nearest one, whatever that is. Do we have time to sleep? We probably do. They're probably quite far... Probably not kind of like Gold Rock City signs, they're quite far away, probably. But I don't know if I want to risk it. How fast are we going? So we're going quite slowly, quite, quite, a, quite a cruise speed of six knots. I think they are more than a day away. I think I just missed my opportunity to look at this, but never mind. Mostly we just need to know how far north we are. So that's like 39 and a half, almost 40. Maybe just touching almost 40. Maybe 39 and three quarters. So, yeah, we are... We are on the... F we are just about there where the circle is, where I'm making a little mark on the map for you guys. I think this is where we think, this is where I think we are. So quite a distance away, at least a day sailing away. Um, so we're safe to sleep based on our navigational compass skills. Then so we can go north. Yeah, we're on that 39 line or even maybe just below, no. Hang on. Why am I reading that 39? It's, it was nearly 40. Going on a bit. Is it? 
Yeah, we're nearly 40, yeah. We are actually like... We are right up there on the 40 line almost. 39 and a bit. So we are, yeah, we're just below. We are just below, we're here actually. Of course we're here, because that's the mountains up there. The mountains on the... The mountain... Is... Northeast. A little bit north of northeast. So, if we drew a line from the mountain north to southwest, and then... Okay, so that one is recognizable, so that's like... That's just east of north, northeast. Yeah, we're about there. So, I don't know if we've got time to sleep, but... Probably have a, a short sleep, but... Probably don't need to risk it. Don't need to risk sleeping. I'm gonna sail as close... We could sail through the night. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it up as we go along, but we're gonna get as close as we can before we have to sleep. And then we're gonna sleep before we go in. 100% we're gonna sleep before we go in. There's no chance. There's not one iota chance. And there's not a, a molecule of chance. There's not the most smallest fraction of time's chance. It's not people say, um, skating in hell's, ice skating in hell's chance. So we are going to go in there on a night docking. It's just not happening. We're going to go in in the daytime. It's going to be a, a morning, a glorious, beautiful morning sunrise docking in a new place we've never been to before. And it's going to be glorious and it's going to be perfect. And we're going to be, you know, take our time and go in smoothly. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Just you watch, my friends. You're in safe hands. Safe hands. And the seas pick up a bit. A bit windy now. A bit windy. I think what's happening is... The one to the far left is even further away. I think that's a northerly one. I think that is that northerly kind of one up there. We want the closer one. I think. I don't know though. Alright, let's get some water. It's day 99. I think we're going to get in on day 100. But the moon, sun very low over there, and the moon very low over there. Yeah, at some point we're going to have to anchor. Look at that land appearing over the waves. There's a mountain. Some kind of land there, some kind of violence. Sort of, uh, is it inhabited? I don't know. Some of these are inhabited. At least. I think. Might need to go over there, but I think it's probably that one. That looks like habitation over there. That's. That's gonna be. That looks like a um, a man-made structure. It looks like buildings rather than you know natural formations. Yeah, that's uh, 
that's probably all one place, is it? I don't know. But we're going to get as close as we can before we can't see anything else. And then we're going to pull the sails up, put the anchor down, and do it all in the morning. But no reason not to, uh, for now, to let everybody know we're coming with some lovely lights. Because we've got to represent. Yep, we're getting tired. But that's okay. We'll tune up. Yeah, it's going to be hard to judge how close we are. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pull the sails up. Start on the front sail, I suppose. Tomorrow it's going to be day 100. Pull the back sail up. And then... We can uh, drop the anchor. Okay, we're all set for the morning. I don't think the anchor has um, touched the ground, but if we do drift close to uh, land and it, it hooks something, then it hooks something. See you guys. Oh, actually, let's turn out all the lights. Let's save, save the natural resources we have. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Oh, wow. Uh, we missed the very start of the morning. <laughs> we slept through it, but that's okay. Let's have a fish. Let's have a fish to celebrate. Let's have one of these lovely fishes. In fact, we could probably eat them all. I bet we could eat... No, we can have a couple anyway. Some trouts. One more. Yeah. Let's fill up our... Um, health bar. Look at that. Yeah, let's fill up. Let's fill it all up. We don't often get a full... Everything. Doesn't often happen. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's, let's pull up the anchor. Oh, you know what this means? Anchor cam. Okay, we can let down the uh, the main mast sail. The main sail. And we can let down whatever sail this is called. <laughs> the secondary sail. Um, I know that's not the real name for it. And we're off again. We are off again. Let's point roughly in the direction of... Hopefully we don't go for the wind. The wind, so... Uh, the wind's not that... Yeah, the wind's behind us. Let's point towards... Actually, which one do we want to go to? I think we want to go to that one. Hang on, let's count again. Count. One, two... We want to go to that one. We need to go to the one to the left. Don't go to the wrong one. Only no, it's not the right one. Let's go to this one. This is the one I believe it is. If it's not, then it's not. And the wind is... Yeah, sounds good for the wind. That's amazing. Look, did you see that? And look, a bridge structure to it. How awesome. That's so good, that's so good. 
Alright, what's this say? How far north are we? Yeah, same 40. Maybe just edging past the 40 line. We are so far north. Look, we're, we're level with the, uh, the, the mountain now. We're level with Mount Malefic. So you can pretty much pinpoint where we are here. We're just above the eye of Astrian. This is a whole new region to explore. So many possibilities. Not only a whole new region, but whole new uh, ships to uh, play with. But not only whole new ships, whole new sailing mechanisms. Well, I say new, they're actually more antiquated, but new to us. It's gonna be epic, it's gonna be great. I cannot wait. Look at that, Mariners. And do you know what? We've got trade goods below. Not just mission cargo, but trade goods. I've never successfully traded trade goods before. I've never like took it from, from one region to the next. So, yeah, this is going to be epic. I don't even know how much money we're going to get from it. I can't wait to see that. And it's actually day 100. We've made it to day 100. I can't see any moons out sadly, but uh, that's okay. Maybe one day the dev will introduce solo eclipses into the game. If we don't get there, before nightfall, I'm still not going in at night time. We do ha we're definitely going to do a daytime docking. If it's, any if it's looking at anything like sunset, I'm not going in. So far, all the islands are far enough away that they're kind of um, very pale and uh, you can't see any details as in like any greenery or real colours to them. So they're quite far away and large. Looks like we're getting closer for Astrium. Now, we have to decide which way we're going in at some point. I think either we go around the left side, because the right side looks a bit steep and unfriendly and uncivilized, or it might be that there's a little indentation and I mean there's a bridge so perhaps water goes under the bridge and it looks like perhaps we go through the middle because that looks like a little bit of a uh, a way in there that's what I'm thinking but we'll get as close as we can again and looks like we're going to go in day 101 101 is the day we're going to go into it. But yeah, close as we can, then anchor again, and then we go in. That was going on with the cells. Luffing the cells here, come on. Sunset outside the islands 
of both Astrium. Beautiful, beautiful evening. What more could you ask for? Screenshot. I think we can uh, probably go in through there. But we're going to do that in the morning because as tempting as it is, it's too tempting. Pull you up. We're making too much speed here. We'll do it at sunrise. Let you out. Yeah, that's the sound of hitting land. Okay. Good night, everybody. Tomorrow, we set foot on dry land and discover a new place. Good night, everybody. I've woken in the middle of the night. I just can't sleep another wink. But the, the moonlight is lighting up for Astrium beautifully. And it looks like it's a beach over there. Some trees. Um, the bridge. It looks like there is a way in over there. Um, I'm not sure if that is the correct direction, but it's very tempting to go through that route. No, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I was thinking what we could do is have some rum and then get a bit more sleep. I don't know how much we can... <laughs> I don't like it when the light changes while we drink too much. Can I fit, Can we sleep some more? It's still very early. Very early. Well, can't sleep anymore, but I'm going to wait here until dawn. And then... I'll be back with you. See you on the other side, Mariners. There's the sunrise. Right, that's a beautiful thing. Sunrise outside for Extreme, right outside with Sandra waiting to go in. A beautiful, beautiful thing. I'll have that on for a second. Right, let's, uh, I guess we can weigh anchor. And you know what that means? Marvellous! Right, probably one cell to go ahead now because we don't need to go full steam ahead. We need more um, control rather than anything. And one cell gives us more control. So just a front cell because we want to be turning left. Uh, I think we'll be able to go that direction and maintain the wind. It's going to be tough navigation going through that type. Oh, it's going to be dangerous. I think we can do it. And I'm gambling that that's the way. <laughs> But yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, maybe... Oh, I was going to say half, but... Full steam ahead. On half a sail. One, well, a one sail out of two, which is half the sails. Half of one sail would be the quarter sails. Maths, Porthos. Maths and Porthos. Okay, we're going to... Forwards and uh, probably want to go in that direction sooner rather than later. What's that noise? What the heck was that noise? Do you hear a noise? Like a tsh noise? Okay, we're turning around. How's the wind? I think the wind's going to be good for us. We want to be directly down the middle. Don't want to be anywhere near the edges. 
and start straightening. Oh, no, too much. A bit early, right there. Uh, a bit more, actually. A bit more. I just don't want to get caught in the headwind in this tight area because that would be the absolute worst. It looks like it's a bit shallow in places towards the edge on the left side. Uh, a bit to the left a bit. Oh, this is tight. I almost feel like we should go a bit slower. But do I need to be this fast? Don't need to be this fast. Like half, halfway is fine. And then to the right. Oh dear. This is something else. This is something else. Why? This better not be a dead end. <laughs> oh dear. We're going to have to go further left so we can turn around sharp enough to get through those gaps. This, does this lead anywhere? It doesn't even lead anywhere. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this silly thing? <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Oh no, there's the jetty. There's the jetty. How's the wind going to look? I think we're going to be alright. Keep going ahead, through that gap, second from the right, the middle gap, straighten up, straighten up. Oh dear. Oh wow. Uh, left a bit, left a bit, right a bit. Oh dear. Oh, the Sandra was coming through. Amazing. Sandra, oh dear. I put the jetty. I think we want to go around probably that crane. There's another ship. There's the bridge. There's the bridge. In hindsight, I probably did not need to go through that navigational hazard. <laughs> but, you know, we live and learn. Well, that's okay. We're going to go quite close to here. Actually, no, no, that looks quite shallow to the, that looks quite shallow in parts. Uh, now, right. All right. Um, I don't know how we're going to get where we want to be now, because I've gone too far wide. And so I can go tight in. I feel like we're going too fast. That's going too fast. Hang on. There we go. There's a tighter turning circle. Tighter. Tight like a twiger. Oh dear. Been a long epic voyage, but this is beautiful. For Astrium. It's beautiful. It's lovely. If we can just dock in style and make a good first impression, that would be awesome. I don't, in style, by style I mean without without crazy incidents, <laughs> without repairs being needed. Oh wow. The wind licking behind us. So we can let that out when we need to. Let's... Um, Let's turn left now, hard to port. And grab hold of this. And then... Let that out. Momentum can carry us. Momentum can carry us all the way out. Alright, um... I need to grab you. Uh, and put you on the... Yeah, no, I don't think it, it, it bumped. I don't think it bumped. I don't think it bumped. It's a good thing. That's actually how you use springs. I mean, it's going a bit fast, but that is actually how you use springs. Um, yeah, that's it. We did it. We've arrived in style. We arrived in style. Yeah, in real ships you have um, 
So the side one would be the front spring and that would be like kind of pointed backwards, stop you going forwards, and the, the back spring will stop you going backwards. Um, and then you'd have the stern rope going from the back and then you'd have the head rope going through like the ball ring going forward. So you'd have around four ropes. But yeah, that's awesome. That, we've made it. We've made it to Fort Astrian. Oh dear, and it's all new kinds of people selling new kinds of things. But apparently, I heard somewhere in this region there's a new kind of spyglass that we can pick up that you can only get here. New kinds of new people. What's this? Wine. So we can probably sell now. I just what I want to see how much we can sell our uh, trade goods for. Because that's really what I want to know. We're looking for this. Who would we sell it to? Anyone? Can you buy it? Will you buy it from us? For 900? <laughs> what? 900? Hang on a minute. <laughs> what a chip. Hang on a minute. How much do you buy it for? 900? Well, I'm not going to sell it for 900. Uh, you guys let me know what I'm meant to be doing with these trade goods because... Uh, that's a bit strange. I'll pick those up from Oasis, I think. Oh, look, there's the Astrium map. Nice, we probably can't afford to buy that now. No, I need to, we need to offload these mission cargoes. Oh, look, there's the brig. There's the brig. The lovely paintings. Okay, so where do we offload the uh, mission cargo then? Where's that flag? There's a flag around here. There it is. There's your lamb. Why wow, 6,000, lovely. I'm not sure about the trade goods though. There's your sausages. 10,000, nice. There's your salmon. 16,000, lovely. There's your goat cheese. 18,000. There's your spicy spices. 22,666. Okay, we are back in the money. Well, Sandra is tied up alongside Port Astrium, in front of the brig, and in view of all these lovely uh, marketplace spectators and uh, sellers of goods and loveliness. Now, it's a beautiful place and we can explore this in the next episode. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions and what you thought of it all. And as always, I've been Potos, you've been awesome, goodbye!